What's up, guys? Welcome to a special Closer's Cage match between me, the King Closer, and Mr. Wholesaling Flipping Mastery, Mr. Jerry Norton. I'm, I'm super excited for today, guys. Uh, Jerry and I, we've done several things together over the past year. I've been on his podcast. Uh, he did a reaction to my Closer's formula. I did a reaction to his reaction. Uh, we did a live together where I did direct the seller. He did direct the agent. Uh, I, I love and cherish any time I have the opportunity to do something uh, with Jerry. And also, special shout out to Speed to Lead uh, for, for putting this on today as well. Uh, they're going to be the ones providing us with the leads and, and their platform as well and their YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm super excited for today. Uh, so without further ado, Let's bring up the the man, the challenger, Mr. Jerry Norton. RJ, how you doing? What's going on, man? Uh, Dude, excited I love to getting have to do you here today. You. Uh, so, correct me if I'm wrong, but you you competed. You've done one closers competition before, right? Yeah, you official did. competition. I've done one. Yeah, I've judged a couple, and that was so freaking boring. I was like, I'm never judging again. <laughs> Hold on. Are you saying it was boring because uh you watched me close deals? No, it wasn't that wasn't boring. It was it was it was like, why am I sitting on the sidelines? I want to be in the game, you know, like a, a, com a competitor is a competitor. When you if you love the game, you want to be in the game. Yeah. So I was a judge of the, the closers off again. I feel like you got the RJ Closers Olympics 2020 treatment. Uh you closed <laughs> like 55 deals and somehow you didn't win. I, I don't know what happened there with the scoring system, but I definitely felt like you were the winner of that competition. Uh, I came out of it. I remember I told my entire team, I was like, dude, uh, Jerry is the guy that could beat me out of anybody in this industry. So I said, all right, let's make it happen. Let's put it together. And so we've been talking about this for a couple of months now. So uh, have you ever called a speed to lead lead before no it's my first time so i'm trying to get comfortable with the system too so we'll figure it out i love it i love it so i do have a little bit of advantage there but you have an advantage because you've been doing this longer how long have you been in the game 20 years now 20, 20 years. years all right so you've doubled me up i'm an old timer i'm at i'm at 10 so i i have the experience on speed to lead you have the experience in the industry so that's it's, it's going to be a fair matchup. So the rules of engagement, Jerry, let's, let's go over the rules so everybody understands, all right? You have a balance in your speed of lead account. I have my balance in my speed of lead account. We're going to share your screen. You're going to start off as the challenger. That's that's your, your honor. You get to go first. Okay. Um, you are going to pick which lead you want to buy. Any lead that is available for sale, you pick it. You can explain why you're picking it. And then you keep dialing until someone answers the phone. And when someone answers okay. the phone, then it's my turn. And we go back and forth. And we do this for a couple hours and we put on a show. Does that sound okay. good? Yeah, sounds great. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's uh, get your speed lead up here. So this is your account. You pick which lead you want to call first. Okay, let me refresh my screen real quick. And guys, if I typically have internet issues, if I do and I drop or something, I'll just come back on as quickly as I can. Okay, so far so good. Let's see what we've got here. I just refreshed. Yep. Rosebush, Michigan. That's up middle of the state. Okay. Moving close, owner occupied. So so RJ, you know, I look at these. If you guys don't know, you look here at seller motivation. This one's got foundation problems. It says here in the comments, how fast ASAP owner of the property. Yes, but they're current on their mortgage. Okay. Uh, downsizing owner occupied. So I'm looking for some high motivation. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like downsizing that much. Downsizing yeah, I, sounds like, you know, I want to cash out all of my equity. Yeah. I want to take my equity. Mm-hmm financial reasons. So they don't really want to open up multifamily. Okay. So I'm looking at a little bit here of price as well, but looking here at market size, 
emergencies, owner occupied. I, I like vacant. No, it's vacant. Okay. Retirement elsewhere. No, it's vacant. How fast ASAP own the property. Okay. But this year I don't like no, pristine condition. You know, what about that St. Petersburg one? St. Petersburg. Yeah. Foundation problems. Emergency yeah. reasons, ASAP, not listed. Now, the only thing would be, well, only thing would be this is a highly competitive market, but that's fine. It just means it's not going to be a lay down, probably. That's true. Yeah. Right. But we could give this one a shot. Let's give it a shot. So buy lead. Yeah. Is that what uh, I do? Yeah. Buy lead. Let me get buy rid of that. Lead. So we can't see. What do I do? Can cancel this or what do I do here? I'm not looking. I got rid of it. Okay, it wants me to know exclusive 48 hours, one hour. What's that mean? That's how long you would have exclusivity of the lead. So depending upon your comfortableness and how much of your budget, you know, you could choose an hour, all 100% exclusive or just 24 hours. Okay, so no one once I buy it, no one else can call it for 48 hours? Correct. Okay. Uh, what do you typically do, 48 hours? Yeah, I do that. Okay, so then go to payment. Okay, what now? Enter code. I should have run through this maybe once. Do I have to put uh, a code in? You got your budget. You can just uh, buy it. Okay, so pay now. And order confirmed. Go to lead. Yep. Okay, so here's my phone number. Let me dial this. And this is, okay, so. All right, here we go. Okay, call failed. Let me try it again. Tell me if you can hear that okay, RJ. I got my phone right next to the mic. Yep. And where's my address at? Oh, here it is. I got it. Hello? Yes, hello. Is this Albert? Hi, Albert. This is Jerry. My team let me know that you've got a property you're looking to sell in St. in St. Petersburg. Is that right? Correct. Great. 29th Avenue is the one. Okay. And you're still looking to sell that property? Yes, sir. Okay. We're, you know, we're, we're pretty much, you know, we're on all the options. Out, you know. You're looking at all your options? Yeah. But we're interested in selling it, for sure. Okay. We're looking to buy right now in that area. What are you looking for on this property? Well, I think it's like, 340 on the market. 340, 340 something like that. 340 on the market? Yeah, on the market is 340. So we're looking at probably close to, it's close to 10 are, uh, you know, I think like two, not in, you know, 20 or something like that. Okay. And so, so that 290, 280 number, you're getting that because that's what you're establishing as value from. What Zillow or looking at looking online? What's that? No, some of it was just um. You see, that's what I did on some online. I was like, no, these are two different things. So, uh, so, so. Uh, yeah, are we are we talking about the same property, six two five twenty ninth Avenue? Yeah, yeah. six twenty five. Okay, because I'm look I'm looking that up right now on on Redfin. Yeah, it's like three forty something. No, six two five twenty ninth Avenue North. South. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's probably why. You probably you don't lost his mind. <laughs> well, that that was, yeah, that was quite a different property. Okay, so let me let me just make sure I'm getting this right. 625 29th Avenue South. Correct. 
Okay, yeah, this is the property I'm looking at here. 629. Chicago Rods. 6, 625 29th Avenue South, St. Petersburg, Florida. Correct. Okay, so it looks like this is a ranch with a two car garage. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. That's a four two, we got. Okay, it's a 4-2, and you're looking to get 280. Now, is that a number that's for all cash? Like, is that something that you'd want to move on quick at 280? Oh, yeah, of course. And it's vacant right now? Uh, partially. I have some stuff still there. There's some stuff in it, but it's... Yeah, everybody just pretty much, you know, she's gone. We put another guy. I'm gone with the person in the so son, he's the off and on, you know. But nobody's living in the home right now. Well, I'm sure it's for a lot of times. Yeah, but nobody's living in it. I couldn't say that. Oh, okay. You don't know if yeah. you don't know if your son's in it. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Now my team said there's some foundation issues. Can you tell me about that? Oh, okay. I'm just looking at my. It had what now? It's like a real pipe leaking to the ground. And how she looks like a hand pinch, you know. Yeah. So, so this, the floor is settling a little bit? Yeah. 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 Well, so Albert, here's the thing, you know, we're cash. We can close quickly. We're looking to buy right now in this neighborhood, but we would need to get a discount so that we can have enough room to go in there and make repairs, fix things up, fix that foundation issue. All right. Thank you, sir. What what happened there at the end? I didn't hear what he said. He just said thank you. He just said we're done. If if, <laughs> if we don't want to go any lower, we're done. There you go. I had a couple of those yesterday. All right. So I identified my I'm not even gonna refresh my screen. I'm gonna stay in the same state as you. Florida, love Florida, financial reasons, owner occupied ASAP behind on mortgage. I I mean, pro. Banger of a deal right there. That's a, a Eagle Lake, Lake Lakeland. Okay. So I'm going to buy that one. Oh, someone bought the lead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went to buy it. And it's like that someone already bought it. There's a, someone saw what I saw. All right. Let's, let's try again. Grandy, North Carolina. No, that doesn't sound right. Look at that first buyer hold, man. All right. San Antonio, downsizing. No. Where were you at? You were down here, St. Petersburg. Okay. Baton Rouge. No. First buyer hold, St. Petersburg again. I'm wondering if that's the same lead just entered in twice. I never like to buy them within the same location as one you just bought. Mm. You know, just feels weird. Vegas, moving closer to family, vacant ASAP, up to date on mortgage. Oh, and it's listed. Next. Nixon, Texas. It's relatively close to San Antonio. Owner occupied ASAP. There's no mortgage emergency reasons. Single family. They've owned it for 29 years or 20 years. Hmm. Hmm. What does road needs replacement? The driveway, maybe? Oh, foundation problems. Roof, roof needs a replacement. Oh, roof. Roof. Ooh, Fort Worth. Financial reasons. What? 
I mean, it would be like, I mean, that's literally where I'm sitting. (laughs) Not listed. Just want to make sure. All right. Please leave your message for nine four nine five zero two one. Hey, Jack, this is RJ Bates. I was calling about your property there on Saldana Drive. Uh, property, it looks like you saw my YouTube ad um, and you filled out a form saying you wanted to sell that property. If you could, give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. Uh, Are you doing double dial, triple dial or, dial or just moving on? You know, I, it's funny. Every time I do these lives, people ask me that. And I always say, I don't like doing that because like, we just spent good money to get that lead, right? Mm-hmm. And, and if I were using the restroom and you triple dialed me, like, I would be so irritated. Like mm-hmm. right off the bat, you know, we have no idea why they didn't just answer the phone, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that early on. All right, so this is Houston, Texas, financial reasons, tenant occupied ASAP. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll stay in Texas. I've, I've seen that backfire, Jerry, on the double and triple dial. Where they answer, but they're pissed. Yeah, they answer yeah. then, and it's like, yeah, can I help you? And it's like, you really don't want the conversation to start off that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Seven one three six two eight. It's not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Kathy, this is RJ Bates. I was calling about your property there on Enid Street. Um, looked like I had your information saying that you wanted to sell that property. If you could give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. I need that magic Jerry cell phone. One dial, one pickup. <laughs> Too bad they're not all like that, right? Yeah, right. What was your seller telling you? He said he, he wanted to sell because of the, the audio was kind of uh choppy there for a second. What I had a real hard time to... hearing him too. It was hard, it wasn't just you, it was me. I couldn't hear him either. Gotcha. Yeah, he was saying that he doesn't know if it's vacant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's that's a good lead right there, except it's listed. We've actually done a deal there in Oregon. How long do we have in Oregon? Isn't it July when the the new stuff goes down? Mm, I think so. Yeah. Then it gets tricky. 
Did you hear about the new direct mail stuff in uh, Atlanta or in Georgia? No. What they what they do? Uh, they 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 just passed a a bunch of requirements to do direct mail to sellers. Falls under their um, deceptive marketing practices code. And really? basically, yeah, basically you got to have disclosures on the envelope, on the thing. And it says all this language around, you know, you don't have to respond to this. And it's a, it, like it would completely kill the whole point of marketing. Jeez. So not a lot of buyers here. I like the motivation, uh, but not having a lot of buyers. The, the, the deal speed aspect to what Speed Elite has added, where you can see how many buyers you have. I mean, that makes a huge difference here. Do you have a number you like to be above? 2,500 in the past is what I've looked for. Um, you know, if you have that many, that gives you a pretty solid chance. Um, I like this, Winston-Salem. Tired of being well, landlord. Great Kenya, market. Yeah. All right. What about you? I know that you've been big on different uh, disposition softwares. Is there a number that you look for as far as the amount of buyers? I mean, I definitely like to re-engine, you know, reverse engineer and look at the buyer count. You know, that's what's great about Investor Lift. It gives you like the half mile, the five mile. So you can kind right. of see, you know, how many buyers there are in relation to where you're at. But yeah, you want to, I think you want to be in the, the several thousands. Um, you, you know, what we're doing is a little unfair in that we're only doing one side. So I like that you're taking that into consideration because anybody can lock up something at 10 cents on the dollar in the middle of nowhere, but doesn't mean you're going to dispo it. You and I were talking about this earlier. Yeah. Someone asked if we own this company. No, we do not. This man does. He's always <laughs> watching. You reached voicemail at Copper Power. I'm sorry I'm not available. Would you leave your name? All right. I'm going to double dot that one. Because it sounded like it almost didn't even ring. So I have an out. You reached the voicemail at Copper Power. Sorry, not yeah, that was push it, push it. The voicemail sounded like. I'll yeah. be right back with you. Thanks. Have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Scott, this is RJ Bates. I was calling about your property there in Winston Salem. Uh, looked like I have your information here saying that you want to sell that property. If you could give me a call back for at eight one seven seven one zero eight six eight nine. Thank you. All right. Wanted to see if there was something new. Doesn't look like there's anything. Well, there's a couple, but some of them already got snagged up. Saginaw, Michigan, we've done deals there before. Mm -hmm. You love Michigan, don't you? I mean, I'm from there, so I just know the market really well. A land deal in Beaumont, Texas. I mean, watch watch me snag this for a thousand dollars. You calling that one? Uh, I think so. I've got another one that's. Uh, you see the one in. The Georgia one is pretty cheap. I'm I'm actually wanting to acquire land. We just uh we just acquired 20 acres in Colorado. Um, I'm on a kick right now with just buying vacant land and keeping it. Yeah, I got I got a bunch of land in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Do you plan on developing it or just holding yeah. on to it? Yeah, we got I've got two development projects. One one haven't started. We bought it on an option for a one year option. It's like yeah. 225 acres. It's like a huge piece of land. That's awesome. Uh, I saw one on here that I thought you'd like. I wonder if you saw it. It was in Texas and it looked like it was, where'd it go? Missouri City. Did you see that one? Hey, it's Ezekiel there. Oops. 
Hello? Is this Ezekiel? This is uh, RJ Bates. I was calling about your land there in Beaumont that you were looking to sell. Are you still looking to sell that? Okay. Gotcha. How much were you looking to get for both? For both, you're talking about about the property and uh, on right. Yes. Okay, one fifty for the two of them. One fifty. Yes, sir. Okay, and you said that there's a a house. What? Is it a commercial approximately four five thousand five hundred? Thousand five hundred square feet, and the five car garage in the back. That's on uh, the sixteen sixteen, and the other one is the same size lot, but it's, it's vacant. Okay, let me see. You said so. It's sixteen sixteen. Yeah, it's five thousand five hundred square feet of uh, commercial building, and also has a uh, five car garage in the back. Is that vacant right now or is it occupied? Vacant, sir. Has it been occupied in the past? Uh, yes, we bought one. Yes, yes but I don't. Uh, uh, not at this time, probably. <laughs> How much do you think that could rent for? What are you going to do? Let me tell you what, what I bought it for. I bought it so I can put a. Uh, Gotcha. But uh, that business is very well. Why? So this bank on Saturday is all this rented every day they will ever. Your phone kind of broke up on me there a little bit. I think I think you're in a, a bad spot. I'm losing reception on you. And I did, but I'm 73 years old, so I figured, you know what? I better retire. So basically, what I did is get uh, habit for a while. I was thinking about it, doing it anyway, but after all, I changed my mind. I'm retired. But it's a lot of money that you can put your bank. You know, and in the meantime, you, you had all these people waiting for you. So, it's just a business. That's what I thought. But you can do a market. Uh, it's just a different thing. I guess uh, I'm out of it. Myself. I enjoyed it right. I did it for 15 years. Right. So, I went all everything in the Houston area. Bowman and Orange, almost everything. I only have a couple left. So on the price of the the two the vacant lot, how much are you asking for the vacant lot? Let me ask you that. So the lot is twenty five, and then the commercial building is one twenty five. That's how you're splitting it up. So the building itself, what would I need to do repairs wise to be able to to rent it out to a business or something like that? Yeah, you can run a business. You can do a big house as well. You know, I got out in the back. So there's a plenty of things you can do. You have to do options. You can use it as a commercial. You can rent it as So that residential on the side house and then get it next to it. And uh. But I would say, you know, it's, 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 in my job, it's rent now because you rent it up to a year in, in advance, you're just waiting and get your money in the bank. And then the good thing is, I like that because the guys charge, they food, they charge the restaurant, charge for 25 to 25 places. 
he charged 50. He didn't do nothing. The people come and serve you the restaurant. And so he got a menu from Chinese, Mexican, Italian, American, whatever food. And then the people have told him, he charged money, it's over, whatever he do. That's Gotcha. Okay, so real quick, I, I don't think I caught because your phone's breaking up a little bit on me, so it's kind of hard for me to hear. Uh, I just want to verify the commercial bill. Oh, golly, we lost connection. Man, th those are brutal because he had a bat. He had a thick accent too, dude. And this is, I think, this is a killer deal. Commercial. It's, dude. It is a six. 6,740 square foot commercial building with a vacant lot next to it. And my commercial comps on prop stream, I've got 542, 518, a million and 400. It's and a metal building or what is it? Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Well, I don't want to show it because then it's going to show the address. It is a, it is a brick building. Mm. Uh, with a garage in the back, it it does need work. That's for sure. Let me see if I can get him back on the phone. What city was that? Beaumont, Texas. You know where that is? Uh, I do. Jamie LeBlanc is right around there. He's one of my. Uh, he's in our community. I would be shipping him over there in thirty minutes. Yeah. Uh, all right, Jerry, you, you, you find, you get one. I'm going to get him back on the phone. We're, we're closing now. <laughs> would you even, would you even beat him up on price or go for it? If he, I'm going to try to get him down, but if he says, listen, that's a, you heard him say it. He's like, this county says it's worth 400,000. Well, <laughs> he's talking about his property taxes. And he's like, the county says it's 400000 I'm just selling it for cheap so I can get my money and move on. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, you can only beat someone up so much when they're giving you a killer deal, you know? Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. I'm thinking about going for this one in Houston. It's only 92 bucks. It says it's, it says it's on market, but he wants an offer likely due to issues with current agent. Sometimes they can get rid of that agent. If they, if their listing agreements up or whatever, it's a chance. Uh, but I might give this one a shot. It needs a roof. Yeah. Mo moving from the states. Oh, right. How fast? One month. Looks like it's a townhouse. Uh, it's got a mortgage. Yeah. Let's just see what happens on this one. I'm gonna kind of curious. Let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Gene, we can't hear you. This is this is very cool because you people usually skip over those leads and I always send them Jerry videos about closing on market <laughs> stuff because those leads are actually way cheaper. <laughs> I know for Houston, Texas. There's a chance here because if he's got a listing agreement, I, I have to honor that. You know, you can't backdoor an agent, but let's just see what happens. Right. Can you hear it ringing? Yes. Okay. Please leave your message for seven one three four eight zero five one eight one. Yes. Hello, Jefferson. This is Jerry Norton. Call me you about your property on San Felipe. Understand you're looking to sell that property. Give me a call, please. We can make you a cash offer. 248-467-7794. Talk to you soon. I'm just going to dial it again. Just why not? This one would be fun. Please leave your message for seven.
All right. Okay, back to the drawing board. Nope. Don't want to show that. What? There we go. Pulled it up too fast. Chicago, tired landlord. I love tired land multifamily owner occupied none in pristine condition. Hmm. Does it tell me how many units this is? No. It does not. But it's you given can see it square footage. I mean, you see three thousand to four thousand. If you click so if you click on the comps, comps oh, in the corner. Um, so right under the map, there's an eyeball. If you click oh. on the sold comps, it will actually show you the most similar properties to that one by percentage. And so you can kind of deduct, deduce what, um, but yeah, we don't, we unfortunately, we need to, we need to start doing the units. We don't get that many multifamilies, but with the comps, you can do a little bit of um, figuring out. Let's call this one. They might take creative finance or something. Let's see. Cause he's tired of being a landlord and he, Okay, so he's got a mortgage on it, says so up to date. Uh, I don't know, pristine, pristine condition, that's gonna be hard. That's the hard part. Yeah, he's not gonna let it go for a deal. Okay, here's another Houston, what's up with this one? Moving, owner occupied. Oh, it's not giving me the price, is that like, cause it's, Let's I don't see, know. which one? That means they already got bought. See the yellow where it says first buyer. Oh, home. okay, gotcha. Shoot, all the, those are all gone, 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 gone. Okay, here we go. Exclusive. Whitman, that's out in the middle of nowhere. Financial, mobile home, no. Uh, San Antonio, let's see. Downsizing, owner, no mortgage. Landscaping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't like downsizing as much. They, they will They will uh, deduct $500 off a of full retail for you. <laughs> Baytown, Texas, downsizing, paint, paint, air conditioning, mm. moving closer to family. How ASAP, paint, Harrisburg. I've done a deal in Harrisburg. Yeah. Let's see. Yes. Up to date on their mortgage. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Where did you see where it says how long they've owned it? Where does it say that? How long? Right here, 10 to 14 years. Okay. I mean, I don't know. It looks okay. I, I, I'm not loving that it's owner occupied. Like my favorite would be that it wasn't. Uh, but I got to call something right now. I'll give it a shot. Let's do it. I can get through these buttons pretty fast now. Okay, let's give this a call. RJ, do not say the full address to keep that. I, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Jerry, right now we have 415 people on. Oh, that's awesome. Let's get them something good to see. That's what I'm saying. Tricky part doing this too is paying attention to see if someone texts you or calls you back. Callbacks are amazing, man. Can't tell you how many times I've closed the deal on one of these lives because of callback is not available please try again later okay that might be a bad a bad number uh okay yeah it didn't go through all right let's go back to i'm kind of excited about that chicago one i just don't know if it'd be a waste of time where's I mean, from a creative finance perspective, that could be really good. I've I've done some really good creative deals that were min condition, like Airbnb. Let's try it. Yeah, I'll try it. It'd, it'd be fun anyway. All right, here we go.
leave a message after the beep. Yes, hello, is this, I'm, I'm calling for Sean. This is Jerry Norton. I understand you have a property you're looking to sell on Farewell Avenue, multifamily. Give me a call or an investor looking to buy in this area, 248-467-7794. Talk to you soon. So Eric, right. the difference between iSpeed and DealSpeed, DealSpeed is the iSpeed Leads Dispo product. iSpeed is just leads. Oh, is that a question somebody had? Yeah, someone on the chat. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Oh, shoot, these are bought. Okay, let's go. Exclusive, didn't like that one. AZ, or no, San Antonio downsizing, needs some landscaping. <laughs> Jerry, I would go go all the way down to the bottom and go to like the fourth and fifth page because I went through most of those. Most of those were like okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Daytona Beach, Florida. Retiring, owner occupied, owner occupied. Yes, I own this property. Structural problems, all kinds of problems on this one. Fort Lauderdale. Holy cow! Right. They clicked yeah. every button. Yeah, that's every single thing that could possibly be done. Let's try it. It's only 250 bucks after all. Right. Okay, here we go. What happened? Just hung up. I'm going to try it again. Yeah, I'd call. Call again. Good afternoon. Yes, hi. Is this Melody? This is she. Hi, Melody. My name is Jerry Norton. Calling about a property I think you're looking to sell on 18th Avenue. I do own property on 18th Avenue. Looks like it's got a bunch of things going on there with repairs. Is that right? It's really a tear down. Uh huh. The largest lot in for the survey and the county record. And um, it's got mature trees lining the entire property, bamboo. Yeah. 30 seconds from every highway, turnpike 595 95. And I'm not less than two miles from the Fort Lauderdale Beach. And also one block away from the Fort Lauderdale Marine Center. Mm. Okay. So great location. location. Great yeah. location. That's why it's worth money. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the lot value is? The most I can get. Yes. Well, what do you I think? Sold, yeah. I need 500. Oh, you want 500 for it? Yep. Okay. And where are you getting that number? Because that's my retirement money. Okay. But I mean, what, what's That's making, what I need. right. Well, yeah. A few years ago, a lady that I know sold a lot with a tear down on it. Uh -huh. 500. Yeah. Well, let's look right now and see what lots are selling for. Do you have a second? I'm driving in this storm. All right. Be careful. Just stay on with me. Let's, let's take a look here. Cause there's, there's million dollar homes in this neighborhood. That is correct, sir. If you put the right property, build the right, use the right, you know, high-end things, you could really get a nice captain in there uh -huh. and make bank. How big is your lot? It's 82 plus. 8,200 feet? Plus, plus. It's on the survey. I have copies of it. It's yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking here. Yeah. yeah. So, so when you say tear down, is that because it, it just can't be repaired or because there's more value in the land than in the house? 
I personally think there's more value in the land than the house. And I'm not yeah. about to start showing the house and wasting my time. That's just not ever going to happen. And you own this free and, don't, you own this free and clear? I have $5,000 on it. Okay. Almost free and clear. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking, there's a, there's a lot real close by that just sold a couple months ago for 400. It's a quarter acre. Uh -huh. So it's a big lot. Let me look out a little bit from here. I really, what everybody else does is their business. I yeah. just know what I need. I'm not going to settle for any less than that because that's what I personally in my life need from this piece of property. Yeah. If you don't get 500, then what do you do? Just sit on it? Is, is that what you're I am going, I am going to allow my son to um, keep fixing it up. He's uh -huh. very young. He wants a big family and he will stick. He'll stay in the house. <laughs> he will stay forever. Let me tell you, he's wanted children since he was in, in single digit age. So I'm telling you, he would be perfectly happy there for him. Mm. I mean, it's 1,600 square feet. Wow. Well, that's just now. We can make it a lot bigger. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if he starts having babies, that's not a problem. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the area. I like the, it looks like there's, yes, let me, sir. I want to double check one thing. I want to see what's going on for new construction. Well, on, on my block, uh -huh. connected to my house on one, on the opposite corner, they just tore down the whole corner. Then there's a, then there's 21st. Then there's my house next to my house, another empty lot. And then the very next corner of the, cause it's a tiny short block. Uh -huh. the very end of the corner, the other corner, they just built two new condos. And they're like zero lot line with the concrete at the sidewalk, kind of square, boxy. Looks like a couple of shoe boxes there. Yeah, yeah. they've got a, there's a, a 3,000 square foot active right now for 1.99, pretty close by on 10th Avenue. Uh, yes, new, that's new right. Construction. That's, yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, you really do have the potential to absolutely get top dollar in your pocket after you pay my price. Yeah, you know how it goes though, right? As an investor, it's just got a pencil. I know you got your goals, but I also got to make sure it, it just makes sense. So like, for example, let me look real quickly at this one. Sometimes it'll tell me what they bought the lot for. Uh, mm -hmm. I know it doesn't matter to you because you're holding out for your number, but I'm just... Yeah, just, just, I just have to do what I got to do. Yeah. Well, so. well, let me ask you this. You say for retirement, are, what, are you, let's say you got cashed out for 500. You would probably reinvest that money, right? Partially, yes. But well, because actually, yes. most of it, yes, because I don't want to get capital gains, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Here's why I'm asking. Have you thought about selling it on seller financing? Yeah, in no way. I don't want any more connections with this property. Once it's sold, it's sold. So okay. Because if you took a little down, you'd get some cash in your pocket, start collecting a payment every month. You're the you're the first position lien holder. That's going to, the reason why I'm proposing that is, so I do a lot of new construction like this. And mm -hmm. the problem is, is let's say I buy this for cash for 500. Well, I'm going to be sitting on that cash for a while until I get my architectural plans and my, the demo, right. the permits, the, all that. So it takes like a year to get started. If even longer now, you, you know, post post COVID, it takes even longer. So then if you carry yeah. it, if you carry it for a couple of years, then you open up a lot of options for builders and developers because now they can focus on getting their build ready and they've got the lot now so they can, they could start working on that, right? But so then if I did that, then my son doesn't have a place to live. Um, because he's living in the house right now. We, I am. I'm living in the house. He's coming back for school in August. Oh, you're he currently living in years. this house. Well, yeah. Okay, I didn't think that because I saw like on the comments here from my team structural problems, fire damage. Yeah. Roof, yeah. roof repair, all these things. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, after I bought the property, I got a horrible cancer, late stage. I had to have a double radical mastectomy. 
eight years. Oh, sorry. After every kind of double treatment for 33 weeks each. And it was absolute H E double two six. And nobody thought I was going to live, but surprise, surprise, I'm still here. Yeah. But let's say, let's say I agreed to your price of 500 and I give you 50,000 down. Well now, and, and you give me, you give me like two years on a note and I pay you, you know, seven, eight percent interest. That's that that's a pretty good paycheck. You get some cash in your pocket. You can go rent something for a little while. I'm telling you, you're going to get more money from a developer. If I've got to come in with cash, I've got to have a, there's a cost to that cash. It's, it's got to be like a big discount. Mm -hmm. So, so 450,000 at a, you know, let's say 8% interest rate. That's three grand a month in a payment. And you're Can you're put something in a proposal like in writing and I'll send it to my attorney to review because that kind of stuff I want my attorney to review. Yeah, yeah. I mean we can do that for sure, but I, I don't want to spend the time and write an offer. I mean, conceptually, let's make let's see if that makes sense. Like, does this make sense for what you want to do? And then if it does, I, I'll go through the, the trouble and we'll just make sure you know you're happy with it. But I'm just saying I put fifty thousand down, you know, we'll close in. Right. We'll close in 30 days or whatever. And right. uh, and then you'll have a there'll be a balance I owe you of 450000 okay. And then and then I'll make a monthly payment, interest only, 3000 a month. That's at that's eight percent on four hundred and fifty thousand. You with me? Right. Right. And then you give me two years. That gives me plenty of time to do my thing and get get the arc, you know, get everything done so that I can build on it. Right. And then at the end of two years, what happens? Oh, then I owe the full balance, whatever, whatever the, the 450. I owe the balance in full. And if that I would be acceptable. And I and if I did it sooner, you know, if I got started sooner, I'd just pay you off sooner. Right. I, I'm just saying two years gives me enough time to get everything done. Does that make sense? But what happens if you can't make that payment? Then you keep my 50 grand and sell it to somebody else. You take it back and resell it. So you, you're in a safe position because you're you'll have a you'll have a first position lien on the property. And trust me, I'm not going to put fifty grand down and then not perform. That would be pretty dumb. Wow, that sounds fabulous, sir. Right? It does. Put that in writing, and I'll send it right to my attorney. Okay, let's get that done. You're gonna, I'll have my assistant, her name's Ella. She'll reach out to you and she'll get, you know, all your information so that we can write up that offer. Perfect. And then if everything looks good to you, it's it's gonna be exactly what we just talked about. Okay. okay. Um, in fact, I would even be okay to do some post occupancy with you, meaning you can stay in there until until so we, my son could like stay in the trailer and still go to school and stuff. I don't, and you I could stay, to come visit and stuff. yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. We, maybe we work out something where he can rent it back for a little while or something. I mean, I'll make it super reasonable just because I'm not going to get to the property for a minute, but as right. soon as because I got to do one, but when you, when you would need access, we could go quickly because I could just get him out and get him in a little condo. Yeah, and you I know, know, when the when it the bull, no big deal, when we the bull. Yeah, when the bulldozer shows up to tear it down, he can he can you know run out the back door. Just give me a few days' notice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying we're easy. I mean, we don't you know we move quickly. We're like no. I would give you I would give you plenty of time. I'm just saying it's going to be sitting there until we're ready to build. That would be perfect. So we could even do like what. What would be acceptable for you to do like a rent back? Or what we could do is we could, if you wanted, we could just subtract it from the payment I owe you because I'm going to be making you a $3,000 a month payment, right? Yeah, but the thing of it is, is I want to, if that happens, I want to leave my trailer there so we can stay in the trailer. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is yeah, I got, I got no, I got no problem with that as long as we, we'll just put in writing that when we're ready to start construction, you agree to leave. Yeah. That's all. Absolutely. Yeah. I could be vetted in seven days. All right, let's let's Easy. get let's get something done here. 
All right. Awesome, Melody. So I'm going to have a... Well, I mean, you have to... It, it does. It wouldn't make sense unless you do this seller financing for me. Because right. I can't put five thousand, five hundred thousand dollars in cash and tie it up for two years. Right. I could if it was three hundred thousand, but not five hundred thousand. See what I mean? Yes, I do understand. You need capital to be able to work. Yeah, it just takes a lot of capital to to do new construction. Yes. Well, good. I'm glad that makes sense. So let's get that done. Ella's going to be reaching out to you here in a minute. And uh, so watch for her, watch for her call. She'll gather some information. She'll put together an agreement and get that over to you. Sounds great. All right. Thank you. Thank nice you. talking with you. All right. We'll be in touch. You Bye. Too. Okay. Bye. Dude, that area is, that area is booming. Uh, Sorry, I got I got interrupted there uh, with a not good call. So you got it for fifty k down, three thousand dollars a month on the the four fifty carry. Yep. Nice five hundred. And what I was saying is, uh, that area is high end. There's there's two, a couple two million dollar homes for sale. There's a four million dollar. Now it's up on the canal, but it's a high end area for sure. So what would you do? Would you wholesale that to a developer? Oh or yeah. You yourself? yeah. If I if I get this on a if I get this on a carry with fifty grand down, dude, there's a new construction developer over there that would eat that alive. Yeah. Because five hundred awesome. for a, yeah, that's that's a good deal for that lot over there. Love it. In other new uh, news, while I was muted and you were closing that, and I missed the epic close because I saw the chat blow up. Uh, one of my leads called back and her house was rented out for 1800 a month and she wanted 450 and then chewed me out for being a wholesaler. Oh, she knew what a wholesaler was. Yeah. Well, she was an investor. She's like, you're oh. just one of them wholesalers. And I was like, well, ma'am, I don't necessarily identify as that. I mean, I identify as other things and she didn't find that to be funny. So yeah, what I'll, what I'll say sometimes RJ is I'll say, do you mean, do I sometimes assign my contract? Yeah. Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we keep it and rent it. Sometimes we fix it up and flip it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but, yeah. I, I hit her with that. I was like, I have I wholesaled? Yes. Is that all I do? No. And she's like, Oh, you just can't tie me up. All right. Before I buy another lead, um, I'm going to give Ezekiel a call back and see if we get him. Because, dude, if I get this done in two minutes, we can have two deals in an hour. Let's get it. That'd be sick. Hello. Hey, Ezekiel, it's RJ. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Good. Man, we got disconnected there. I, I, I didn't know if it was your phone dropped or what it was. Yeah, okay. gotcha. All right. So my question to you about the commercial building was, does it need work done to it in order for me to rent it out to a commercial tenant? Yes, sir. It's, uh, we call it picture upper. It's why we're selling it at that price. Gotcha. Roughly speaking, how much are we thinking? Are we thinking like one hundred fifty thousand? Well, let me tell you, I have a guy that want to do the job for me. And uh, maybe I can refer to him. He said 20K. 20? Yeah, 20K. That's what he told me. Man, that building is so big. What all would I be doing to it? Well, basically, you get it ready to, to rent. Basically, you want to do a, uh, you give it electrical, and if you need a roof, whatever you need, patch, painting, whatever, the least as possible to make it ready to rent. I mean, people, when you're in a commercial, they usually decide what they're going to do with it and then knock walls or they put walls themselves. Right. The important thing is here is spend as little as possible and get it real useful. And then, because you don't know what kind of business people want to have, you know? So I don't go about, about what I see, it's what, I, what they want to do. Because, you know, let me tell you a story. I have, I have houses that I put a carpet in myself and so I say, thank you. I'm going to take the cup. You see what I mean? Right. Said, well, you know what? You want to pick it up? Use it for a year, man. And then dump it. Oh, oh okay. You see? But <laughs> the thing is, 
the, the, the people go, no, oh, Tayo. I put Tayo, no, I, I want lemon. Give me a break. So I told them my way, they can do whatever they want to do. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to spend money because I have people that they, they want to buy a house. I want a this color. I want this and this. And how to make them the money? And then it's the only like, I come in and say, well, I don't like this. So give me a break. So I've been doing this for 50 years, my friend. Oh, man. You're a legend. You can believe how many people lie to me and how many people, you know, play, play me. But you know what? I don't lose my heart. I say, you know what? It's their problem. If they screw me, it's their problem. And stop, I'm going to feel guilty. Give me a break. Right? I got you. I, I, don't, I don't go by that. So I do what I can and I say, God, do the rest. And if they don't like it, they can change it, right? I, I hear you. Well, Ezekiel, let's let's do some business together. Here, here's what I want to know. Believe me, from four hundred and some thousand to one fifty, you have plenty of room. This is what I do myself because I don't like to be waiting online for other people. Here's what I told people: sometimes I man, I'm giving it away. I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. The thing is, and, and, and I do want to have a room. You haven't tried it for that price. So what I do, I tell them, I buy at this price, I buy at 30% of three, 40%. If I suspend maybe 10, 20%, I'm at 60% probably, and I can I can do 75 and make money. Right. And, and probably better than the other people they're waiting on. So, I mean, you have plenty of room in that commercial. I can tell you that. Agreed. So you can have, you can have all wrong. Matter of fact, I can recommend to the guy who gives me an estimate. You know, and, and they, these guys can do And they can do more what you like. They charge a little more, but they're very, very rich. Gotcha. All right. So my question is, my question to you is, what, what kind of buy one, get one free discount do I get when I buy the lot, too? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hey, if you don't ask, the answer's always no. So <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> See, you need to give me a discount just because of the laughter I gave you. It's like buying a ticket to a comedy show over here. <laughs> there you go. No. You know what the meaning of grace? No, tell it to me. Something you don't deserve. There you go. So it's what I have. Okay, it's a blessing, something I don't deserve. Right? I love it. That's it, man. But, but I'm the next part. I'm happy, right? Because I'm mine. I've been blessed, man. So, Ezekiel. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. So here's here's my my I'm gonna make you laugh again. You ready for it? Oh my god. All right. All right. So I don't deserve it. I'm asking for grace though. I got a partner. I got a partner over here. You got about 250 
Oh, <laughs> uh, what? So you're saying one one fifty is the number, huh? Not. One fifty is the number, my friend. I mean, just to build the building there, that's the easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing. But I, but you know, I, I'm covering those closing costs too. You know that, right? Don't go break it. Don't don't get don't get poor on that. You know. You know how much it costs? Tell me about a thousand. They cost you a thousand, man. I need to know what I close them with fidelity. Who are you closing with? Parallel Southland title. Yeah, Southland title. She's good, man. She's All right. Well, let me change this. You know what I mean? That guy took over. This and that. Lovely carpet. She want to kill him. Yeah. I don't mind if it's the right thing, you know? But don't tell me you're going to go poor because you pay this a thousand or fifty. I told you I was going to make you laugh again. By the grace of God, I'm going to buy 1616 and 1608. Sabine passed today. All right. I want to send you a contract to, to your email. Do you have a diff, do, you, do you have a difficult email?
number, your name, and I send it to Lily. Who is Lily? Lily is the one who do all the process. She's not a real estate agent, nothing like that. She was before, but now she works for me only. So she does uh, all the process. And she starts dealing with you, and with the title company, everything goes smooth. Gotcha. So she's like your uh, transaction coordinator? Yeah, she is the process. Yeah, she's very good. She's doing for me for years. Awesome. I, you know, I've been telling lately. I am uh, I am texting you over my information right now. Yeah, by text send to me because you know I don't do computer. You know I'm bad. But I, she's good. Gotcha. So she can deal with you with your smart. Okay, so I just I texted it to you. Can you check your phone and see if you got my text message? Uh, yeah. Right now, my friend, let me see. Think. You did it by text, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I got RJ Bates. Bates? Is it one that you eat or what? Like Bates Motel, but not crazy, like Norman. I like you, man. You're good. Okay. Uh, titanium. 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 Strong. Okay, I got your number. 917-915-6860. Yes, sir. It's enough for me to send it to her immediately. And she's going to get with you and then... And if you really want the property, get on it because she get it. I send it a lot of people on. It's, and then she dealing with it. But when she told me I got a contract, then we we, we forget about the other ones. Yeah, it's done deal. Tell them to go away. It's mine. Take care, take care, senor. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. All right. All right. Recap that because I could not understand that guy. <laughs> so he 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 thought it was hilarious when I. Uh, I asked them for for a discount. I told you I was going to ask, uh, but it was still a good deal. I mean, this is the one that's tax assessed at four hundred. Plus, we're getting the vacant lot next to it, uh, which can also it's zone commercial, so you can develop on it as well. This is in Beaumont, Texas. Um, it does need work. He says his contractor quoted him twenty grand to rehab it, but it's a six thousand square foot building. There's no way that's happening. Um, but 150 for both the lot and the 6,000 square foot commercial building. Um, all of our comps were 500 plus thousand, 500 up to a million dollars. I mean, and he said tax assessed values at 400. We all know in Texas, tax assessed value is low, so that's a banger of a deal. So he Along knows, he, so he knows he's letting it go for a deal and he's fine with it. That's what's cool yeah. about that. When, when I asked him, I said, uh, can I get a uh, buy one, get one free discount? He said, uh, he said yeah, you could count the $250,000 in equity I just gave you. And then he gave me a story about grace. He's like, you know what grace is? Grace is when you get something and you don't deserve it. So take your $250,000 of grace. <laughs> well, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, I heard. I, I heard you. That's the kind of guy that you want to hang around, man. 50 years in, in the business. You know, he's probably a wealth of knowledge, someone like that. Yeah, exactly. All right. You want to call one? Yeah. All right. Let's go. So while you were while you were talking with him, I think I found one I like here. You see my screen? Yes. Philadelphia, super high buyer count in Philadelphia. I've done deals there before. You know, I don't love that it's downsizing. I'm, I'm not crazy about the tenant, but uh i don't know it's like a good one i could see that looks looks like somebody's ready to go yeah phil philly's good yeah philly's awesome so let's see if i can get this one all right let's dial this All right, here we go. Please leave your message for two six seven two six nine seven eight eight one. 
Yes, hello. Calling for Wanda. This is Jerry Norton. Calling about your property you've got for sale on Westmoreland Street. Give me a call back. Uh, looking to see if you're interested in selling that property. 248-467-7794. Talk to you soon. All right. Dante, I have uh, four screens up total. Four screens? Yeah, I've got four monitors. I've got it like a tree where there's two up and two down. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. smart. You, you, you look like a day trader. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip a few pages ahead. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fountain. Oh, it's right by Colorado Springs. Sell and rent instead. ASAP. Structural problems. Structural problems. problems. Structural problems are like guarantee. Oh yeah, those are great. Let's try this one. You know you're important when you're signing a check during the middle of a live stream with 412 people watching. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Hi. Hi Cassie. Oh, we got to get rid of your screen. All right. What Don't people got? People still want paid. That's right. People still want pay. They don't care that RJ's live on the internet. They they got to get paid. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm waiting. For, okay, here we go. All right. Let's get this one. All right, Colin. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Darn. Tone, I like this one. Message. Nice looking house. You finished recording, you may hang up. Yes. Hello, Rebecca. This is Jerry calling you about your property for sale on 841 Candlestar. Give me a call back, please. Uh, I want to see if you're interested in selling this property. Love to help you out if I can. 248-467-7794. Talk to you soon. I'm going to call Jerry, this one again. What? Look at, look at the comment on the screen. Which comment? Oh. Dude, let's go. Yeah, that's there's a there's an active RJ. I was looking. There's an active right now, like a couple blocks away for like 689. Active lot, just a vacant lot. Uh I'm gonna try calling this one again. This phone number is a Utah phone number, so there I wonder if this is. I'm glad you bought it then because Utah hates me. <laughs> did you see my reel I did about Utah? Yes. I did. I was yeah, doing we like finally, I was we we finally closed one there. I heard, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The All right. That sucks. I like that one. Nice brick house. Okay. Back to the drawing board. And you did that multifamily in Chicago, right? They just didn't answer? Yeah, they didn't answer. Uh, I was, it was funny because I thought for sure that that one was going to be the creative one. And it ended up being the teardown in Florida. I get the best deals on, on lots and land with creative. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, what about this one in Colleen, Texas? It's on page five. Okay, let me go there. It's tired of being a landlord, tenant occupied, ASAP, not listed. It needs paint inside and flooring, which means they're probably admitting that it needs cosmetics. And they've owned it for 15 years. And if you see here, there's been no orders on it. And it came in this morning. And, and this is a good area right here, Colleen. It's a, it's a, military town so it's a great rental market let's try it it might be it might be slightly under people's radar because it's got a buyer lead of 23 you know 
Yeah. But uh, it's so it's fringe. It's a fringe market, probably. But the thing about it is, is Colleen is also part of like Temple, and and it's close enough to Waco. Like you'll get buyers there. That's a good area, dude. If you can, if you're within an hour, you know, of like a metro area, you can pull the pull the buyers to your deal. Oh yeah. Well, this is in the middle of Waco and Austin, which are building like this to Colleen. Yeah. All right, I'm calling to see if he answers. Plus, Temple has a Bucky's. <laughs> That's good enough. Hello? Hello? Dude, he answered and then didn't answer. Yes, hello? Hello, can you hear me? What? Dude, I can literally hear him on the other line, breathing. <laughs> I wonder if I should I wonder if I should call him a third. I'm gonna assume it's a it's a user error here going on or something. Yeah. Watch he's gonna F bomb me now. Oh, come on. Two, five, four. I don't know what to do with this guy. Let's let's try it one more time. I might piss him off, but you're like, sir, I can hear you breathing. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two five four three three eight two seven four four is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Yes. Hi, calling for John about your property for sale on Littlewood Drive. Uh, I believe we were trying to connect on the phone. I, I think it maybe you couldn't hear me, but uh, give me a call right back. I'd love to talk to you about this property. 248-467-7794. Talk to you soon. He might call back because he might, he might have been trying to answer. Tyler said uh, he already spoke to the buyer. He'll buy your deal if the ARVs are up there, like you said. Okay. And who's this? You know him? Yeah. So Tyler, uh, I Tyler here, shoot me a text and then I can connect you to Jerry. Uh, 817-915-6860. What's he want to do? A, a high end, a luxury build or what's his? Yeah, that's what he does. He does high end. He does high end uh, ground up. Okay. Yeah. This is a great market for that right there. Uh, okay. What's this here? North Fort Myers. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have all the great. It's not, I wish there was higher motivation, but I'll keep going. Let's see. Selling a vacant, non-occupied house. There you go. Okay. Vacant, vacant. Let's go. Oh, I like the I like the comp value. Let's do this one. Yeah. All right. 817-915-6860. If I don't have your number, then you don't matter to me. What happened? Hello? It never beeped. What the heck? Let's try it again. I don't have your number, and you're not going to answer. So if you want to talk to me, leave a message and I'll call you. <laughs> Yes, hello. This is Jerry calling for Morell. Would like to talk to you about your property for sale on Country Road 439. Give me a call back 248 467 7794. 
Talk to you soon. All right, Jerry, we got like 35 minutes. You think we can each get another one? Let's go. Come on. Uh, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Where is that? Oh, there's Greenville. So this one just came up as a as a in the refresh. A little small on the buyer count, 1900. Vacant, no mortgage. Let's try it. Yeah. Dude, North Carolina is awesome. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I don't really care. I just want to talk to somebody. <laughs> right. When you set aside time to do this, like the anxiety is through the roof when no when no one's answering the phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you you know you can make money if people will freaking answer. You're muted. Uh, You're so muted? this cat this cat has two properties in North Carolina. It says here in the notes. Hello? Yes. Hello. Is this Adam? Yes, this is Hi, Adam. Calling you about your property for sale, I believe, on in Rocky Mount on, on Tyan Street. Is that right? Yes. Great. Are you still looking to sell that property? Yeah. Yeah, I am actually. Okay. Um, Good. I, I was actually like uh, in the middle of a, uh, yeah, I, I thought that y'all would have gave me a call about 10 minutes ago. Who gave you a call? I said I thought that y'all would have gave, given me a call like ten minutes. Oh, ago. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Somebody texted text me from uh, from a number. Okay. Yeah, it might have been my associate, uh, but I'm glad we're able to connect. What are you hoping to get for this property? Well, uh, we have one at forty five, and the other one at. Uh, I think that we can go probably about uh, 70, 75 with that. Well, so you got an offer for $45,000? Is that what you said? Yes, 45 and 75. Okay, so you got two offers, 45 and 75. Let me ask you, why didn't you take the 75? Why didn't I take the 75? Yeah. No, these are two different properties. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. I thought you were talking about offers you got. You're saying you got two different properties. Yeah. Are you looking to sell them both as a package? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could take, uh, I could do that. Yeah. Uh, one for 45 and the other one for 75. Got it. So you're saying you want, you want 45 for this one on, on tie-in and what's the address on the other one? While you're doing that, this is a two-bedroom? 40, uh, 4292 Georges Boulevard. All right. Give me a second. Let me pull that one up. How do you spell that? D-O-R-C-H-E-S? -E oh, T-C-H-E-S. Okay. I think I got it. Uh, let's pull this. How far away is this one from the other one? Sure. Oh, okay. Um, same town at least, so it can't be that far. Right. Yeah, that one's showing a that one's showing as a three one three bedroom one bath at eleven ninety four. And correct me if I'm wrong, is the other one a two bedroom? Yes. Now it's calling it a thousand square feet. So, is there is there an addition on that for it to be a two bedroom? Dorches? No, tie in. Tie in? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, usually a thousand square feet, you get three bedrooms. So I'm just wondering why it's only two. And it looks like there's something off the back of the house on the pictures online. And both these vacant? 
Yes. Okay, so they're both vacant, and you want forty-five for tie-in, and you want seventy-five for Dorch, uh, Dorches, Dorch. How do you say it? Yeah. Dorches. Well, yeah. Dorches was. Uh, yeah. It was Dorches was. Uh, it was a rental a year ago, but uh, it was rehabbed like I think five, ten years ago. Okay. Or yeah, the full hardwoods are you know really good shape. Uh, everything as far as the uh, water uh, HVAC that was all uh, in the past ten years. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking right now at the neighborhood, to see what's what's going on there. I mean, how much would you say these need? In, were, were these both rentals, both of them? Yes. Okay. What what were you getting in rents on these? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm the, not the agent, I'm the, the wholesaler. Oh, you're a wholesaler? Yes. Okay. Okay, so do you have both these under contract? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. Uh, I, I thought you were the seller. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I mean, when, when's your contract up on these? Like, how, do you, are, how much due diligence do we have? What's the time frame look like? Well, I mean, uh, I'll keep renewing it. And I mean, I got like uh 45 45 days how come you're not able to move these like what's the hang up well the price you know everybody's like uh wanting to get it for you know 30 or you know get the uh door just for you know 50 and the buyers are stuck on where they are we actually bought um chris down um uh, he was asking 60 before yeah you know what I'm saying? i got him down to about you know where he is now well i mean that's your that i mean that's your market feedback right if the market's telling you 30 and 50 that's probably where you're going to need to be to find a buyer okay. i'm just wondering like i wouldn't i wouldn't keep renewing with the seller if you're not able to get anywhere because you're way off like 45 on a on a 30 offer and then 50 on a 75 like that's way off Right. Well, I mean, we're getting there as far as the offers go. Okay. Uh, uh, just a little bit off. Yeah. You know, so uh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay. Know, we'll, uh, we'll get something there. You know, in that uh, that 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 whole part. Yeah. So. I mean, I would need to be way down there, probably below where you're getting your other offers. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for calling. Good luck. Good luck to you, sir. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye bye. Do you think he knows he just talked to Jerry Norton? <laughs> I I uh I got on him a little bit there because like, dude, that ain't cool. You're way far off, man. Let, let you gotta what? I mean, they're vacant, so it's not like you're putting someone in any kind of harm's way, probably. But. Dude, the market's telling you 30. You have a contract that you're you're trying to dispo it at 45. And then the other one he's got, he's trying to dispo at 75, and his offers are coming in at 50. So so speed lead was saying that's a refund right there. If you bought that because he said he was the owner and he lied. Wholesaler. Yeah. You record that. You wholesalers don't lie, guys. You know what cracks me up, RJ? Why would a wholesaler fill out one of these lead forms? Because they don't know how to dispo, bro. Who do they think is going to call them? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. They don't. It's they guys, don't know. It's guys like that. It's guys like that. Everyone's like, "Why do we have regulation?" Well, there you go. That's guys like that. Yeah. Like All right. So what I did was while you were doing that, I found my next one. It's in Cleburne, Texas. Says emergency reasons, financial reasons, moving from the United States, need to sell ASAP. And this came through text message, SMS marketing. So this will be interesting. 
The comment says because they don't have 6K a month for investor lift. Oh, deal speed's 299. There you go. Hi, this is Cindy with the Emerton OLP Group. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave me a detail. Oh, oh, it's a real dirt. Un Again, another one that potentially lied. We're, we're gonna see we're gonna see both the agents and the wholesalers lie <laughs> back to back. Uh, it, it gives you that option. You can choose it. You can say I'm a realtor. Um, okay, what do we got here? Financial reasons vacant ASAP behind on mortgage, pain inside in the middle of nowhere. Golly, man, I just love all the motivation. Did you see this brand new one in Spokane Valley? Uh, it's, oh, a low, it's a low count, but it's tired landlord. Oh, no, never mind. This is the Spokane Valley. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's showing it by Sp Spokane on the map, but. Here, you can do that one. I'll do this one in the middle of nowhere, Alabama. The Rainsville? Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a banger of a conversation. I love middle of nowhere, Alabama. This one's to, the this one's the middle of nowhere. I'm going to give it to Justin and tell me he has to move it because I closed <laughs> it on a live. I know it's the middle of nowhere because it's by Decatur, and I did a deal out there, and that was the middle of nowhere. Okay, but did you move it? That was one of those auction ones, eventually. Uh, I was going to say, if you have a buyer... I mean, it's saying the comps are 200. Are you Hi, is Emery there? This is hey, Emery, this is RJ Bates. That's calling about your property there on Kilgore Street. You just, uh, yes, sir. Look like you uh, filled out a form there on my website saying that you're looking to sell that property? Yeah, I filled out a form. I'm saying I had a Facebook. I've seen it. I was going to list it, and I've seen that. I thought we'd live to my thought. Or like that, you know? Awesome. How much are you looking to get for it? I was going to list it. I was comfortable to get 250 but I mean, I don't know where we're at, on, where you'd be on that. If I didn't list it with a realtor, I could say go less, you know? Right. For sure. What's, uh, what, what's got you looking to sell? You said you guys are going to think about listing it. What's, what's the reason why you want to sell it? Gotcha. What's the condition like? Uh, well, the, it's got since, since I've got the wire property, we've got it's got new flooring throughout all of it, but the kitchen and the laundry room and one of the baths, uh, one of the bathrooms, I, it's been getting remodeled, and in the kitchen, the cabinets, we have somebody come in and paint those and give them, you know, a little update on them. And it's got a new roof. The roof is got put on last year. Okay. Or must say, hold on, let me say. Yeah, last year. It's uh, it's brick and let's see, like the gable ends got vinyl, but the most of it's brick. So. So you said you were thinking about listing for two fifty, but if you were sell it quick you you would have a little bit of wiggle in the worm how much you thinking well i know like you know with real you know depending on who you get four to six percent or whatever and four percent is like twelve twelve thousand five or something twelve thousand or something right i mean if i could get if i could say you know like if i could get two thirty five i do two thirty five on it yeah and the problem for me is, is what am I going to do with it then? You know, I'm an investor. I got to do something with it to make money. Uh, looks like, looks like two, you got one that sold for 275 out there um, in a two mile radius, but it was newer. It was built in the nineties, had a lot more land. You're kind of, your house is kind of unique you, out of the comps. You're the biggest house with the smallest lot, but you're also the oldest. Okay. Yeah. Also, I know it online. Some people say it's like one bath, but it's two full baths on it. Right. So it, it's not one bath. You're saying that. So I. 
I got a square footage of 1918. Is that correct? You know, I don't even know exactly how big it is, but I'll tell you, I got that on multiple different places. So I think that's right. Um, I'm going to tell you what, Jeff, I'm going to tell you what, 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 I'm going to it would just have to be cheaper, uh, but there's not really a reason for you to sell it cheaper. You know, I mean, if you got a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house, that's what realtors exist for. Realtors are there to get right. you as much money as possible and and maximize that. Yeah, you got to pay them, but uh, no matter what, you're paying somebody. You know, so. Right, I understand that. You don't quick sell you lose. You don't go up there, realtor. You you don't get as much. And right. What would you be in on, on the, what, what, was, what was your range you was thinking of? I mean, it's it's going to be in the high ones. Okay. Because, it, I mean, just being honest with you, if it's in perfect condition, I mean, I'm probably going to be somewhere in, like, the 180 range, which is just poking yeah. you in the eyeball for no reason. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. Right. Now – I wouldn't want to do that, Right, ex exactly. Um, how long have you owned this? Maybe we bought it in instead of 2021 or 2020. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe 2021 in April or something like that. Are you behind on your mortgage? It's like not behind. It's not like nothing going crazy. I don't know. My wife pays the mortgage. She does all that. She does that. But if you were to sell it, your whole intention is to buy another house, right? Well, I'm going to build. I'm going to build something. So you need to be able to go get another loan and stuff like that? Because I was like, well, the only other option could be for me just to buy sub two, take over the mortgage. But, I mean, in that case, I mean, it doesn't really sound like you're, you're not checking off very many motivation boxes, right? I mean, maybe, you know, you, you kind of want to upgrade and build something. I mean, yeah, you, you're you like the the ideal client for a realtor. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the best route for you, to be honest with you. Right. So you're, you're saying if it was like perfect, you're like 187 if it was that perfect shape. Yeah, I mean. Okay, yeah. Because perfect, perfect, and in, in always perfect. I mean, as soon as you move your stuff out, we're gonna have to do paint touch ups, floor touch ups, fix a doorknob, something. Then we gotta list it ourselves. We gotta pay those realtors. We gotta pay the closing costs when we buy it from you. We gotta pay the closing costs when we sell it. So I mean, you know, we probably walk away. We would do all that, and we end up walking away with like twenty five, thirty thousand dollars profit. Okay, well, I, I just seen that on there. I, I, well, I just see what you know what the offer would be on it. You know, take me trouble if I didn't have to go there. Real, you know, just it can't it take out to stay up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, you got my phone number. I mean, if anything changes, you know, feel free to give me a call back. But honestly, I think that's your your best solution is just uh, to hire a realtor and, and maximize your equity. You know. Right. All right. Well, I appreciate you anyway. All right, Emery. Bye bye. Yeah, we're good. You find one? Yeah, let me can I try one? Yep. What you got here? Corpus Christi. Oh shoot, I already clicked the button. No, yeah, you're good. You're good. It just looked like it's one of the, one of the newer ones. Oh, I got it. All right. Cannot believe we just did two hours. Doesn't feel like it, right? It's not enough time. I know. When you have two people. Yeah. But every time I do this and someone asks like how long should I block off? If I if I text you and said four hours, you would have been like, nah, bro. <laughs> I probably would next time, RJ. That's that to do it right. Yeah. Because think about it. I mean, it's like let's just do a whole day one time and we'll just set aside the whole freaking day. Dude, that'd be sick. I would do it. I can do this all day. Gene, you hear that? Five, nine is not available. Hey, I'm down. The entire day. <laughs> I think I think it should be done. Yes, hello. Is Jennifer there? Uh, this is Jerry Norton calling about your property on Odim Drive. Um, 
want to see if you're interested in selling that property, give me a call back 248-467-7794. Talk to you soon. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Jerry, let's yeah. let's do some let's do some uh crazy pace esque shit. Let's do um you know, remember when he used to do like the 25 hour lives? Let's let's do one where we start as early as possible on the East Coast. Okay. And then it's like you go for two hours, I go for two hours, you go for two hours, we can mingle throughout whatever. Yeah. And we go as long as we can to the end of Pacific Coast time. It'd be like a 12 you know, hour if, live. If we did that, what would be great, RJ, would be uh take it slow, talk about what we did. Cause I like to I like to have time to talk about why I did what I like. We just rush on to the next one, but people right. missed the teaching opportunity. Like, why did you do it that way? What was the purpose behind that? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, so, exactly. Anyway. Like, for example, you could be showing us the paperwork of your creative finance seller finance deal right now. Here's how or, my team wrote this up. Or like when you get off the call, maybe like pull it up and be like, guys, this is where I, this is what I was looking at. This is how I comped it. This is why I thought this was a deal. Yeah. You know, so, you can, so people get the big picture. You want to do it next week? Do we do we have to pee in a bucket? Like, do we pee in a bottle? On, no, on no, no. We get we can actually go pee because we'll have someone else. That's the benefit. We would have someone kinda, else. Be like, I kind of. Hey, what if you want to pee in? What if you want to pee in a bottle? Pee and you know. But what if you want to pee in a bottle under your desk? Well, Jerry's gonna go pee in that pool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to say I was on live with RJ all day and I peed in a bottle. That that's. That's something. <laughs> um, what do we what do we got here? We need to we need to talk about the specials that Speed League gave. Um, did they gave us? You find your next one. I'll I'll do the sales pitchy stuff. Um, so I'm dropping this link. I hope it goes through YouTube. Let it go through. Um, if not, there you go. Um. Uh, Dude, they thing. gave us awesome, awesome discounts. And it's only good for like the next two days. So you guys check that out. Cagematch.ispeedthelead.com. Um, we didn't even really ask them to, to do that. They just did it on their own because they're awesome. Gene is the, the coupon king. He loves to come up with different ways to, to give away shit for free. Um, the, the offers are just insane. I mean, it, it's, it's awesome. So check that out. Uh, cage match. I, I really like that new feature with the, uh, I think you were telling me RJ, it's a new feature with the, um, the, the buyer. buyer. Yeah. yeah. RJ, RJ came up with that feature. We were, I was on his podcast and he recommended we do it. I'm it, like, it, uh, what I like about it is normally you got to map it and figure out where the heck this thing is, you know, so you lose it a little. And, and then when you see that buyer count, it just tells you right away kind of what you're up against. Yeah, Jerry, Gene was on my podcast. We're, we're an hour into the podcast and Gene goes, well, I mean, what do you think could make the product better, RJ? And I was like, if you added the buyer count and the comps. And, and he's like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, we can do that. <laughs> so they went in. <laughs> yeah, the comps is cool, too, because it just gives you an idea of what kind of value you're dealing with in the neighborhood. Yeah. Right? So that's awesome. All right. You doing another one? Oh, sorry. I wasn't even looking. Dude, Lake uh, City, Michigan, behind on mortgage, financial reasons. Where is it at? First page. First page. I mean, there's no buyers there, but you can buy it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Let me try. Gene, are you giving free shit away? Oh, absolutely. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick five people who commented on the stream. Uh, at the end, we're just gonna like pick five random people. One of them's gonna win one k, and then four people are gonna win five hundred bucks balance on their ISP Fleet account. But they've got to be registered on an ISP Fleet account. Uh, they've got to have an ISP Fleet account. Right. If you're registering today, if you're new, make sure you use referral code Titanium when you sign up because you're going to get um, 100 bucks balance on your account. Hey, 
to connect and talk, just say your name and what you're calling about after the beep. Sorry, go ahead, finish your thought. I'm gonna just double dial that one. Yeah. Gene, let's go ahead and give away uh, one of the $500. Hey, thanks for calling. Shoot. Connect and talk, just say your name and what you're calling about after the beep. Yeah, I call him for Willard or Marilyn. Calling about your property for sale on Turnerville Road in Lake City. If you could give me a call back, that'd be great. 248 Hello? What the heck? It's ringing again. <laughs> your mid-voicemail. That was a voicemail, right? Yes. Hello? Yes, hello. Is this Marilyn? Speaking. Hi, Marilyn. My name's Jerry. I'm calling you about a property you've got on Turnerville Road. I think you're looking to sell. Is that right? Um, what, company, what company are you with? Oh, I'm just an investor, and I've got a form here that you filled out that said you were looking to sell this property. Yeah. Yeah. Just a local investor. We buy houses in the area, and and uh, okay. yeah, yeah. Tell me what you're looking to do. Um, well, we're trying to relocate. Okay. And we just don't want to deal with realtors and house. We have stuff. And yeah. Chihuahua. Yeah, you're you're kind of out there. Is this ten acres? Yes. Wow, that's a beautiful, the, beautiful property. Thank you. Um, the neighbor is selling an additional six point four acres, uh, just adjacent to our. Wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm actually from uh, Metro Detroit. How far is this? Okay, is this near? I'm trying to get my bearings on where you're at here on in Lake City. Holton Lake, Cadillac. Oh, Houghton Lake is Houghton Lake is beautiful. I love this area. Okay, so tell me what you're looking to get for this. Hello? Hello? Marilyn, are you there? Oh, you're break you're breaking up a little bit. Can you hear me? Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, you were breaking up. I didn't. I didn't catch what you said there. Oh, I said we're we're looking for like three thirty and actually under the. I didn't catch all that. I I think I heard you say three thirty. Is that right? My phone's going out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And let me ask. Let me ask you. Four hundred. So you want 330, but you had it appraised at 400. Is that correct? Yes. Sir. Okay. And let me ask you, how come you haven't listed this with a real estate agent? I mean, they'll get you uh, the highest price, right? Because we don't want people coming in. You don't want people coming into the home? No. We're on a mutual compromise, and oh. we don't want people tracing in and out of the house, and then we're going to have to sanitize things. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of couple, 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 couple. Yeah. We spoke with, she actually wanted us to move all of our things out because she thought it would be easier to show with. Well, we have stuff a over. We're not in the position to move twice. Do you have your next? Do you have your next home already located that you're moving to? We haven't made the offer yet. Okay. Located the house. Okay, so you know the house you want, and but yes. do you need to sell this one in order to buy that one? Like, are you using the proceeds from this to buy that? Yeah. I see. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, one thing to keep in mind is we are very flexible. So if we needed to do like some post occupancy to give you a little bit of time, that's that's okay. We we could work that out too, just so you know. Mm -hmm. So in other words, after we close, you could stay for thirty days if if that was really helpful. Okay. Okay. 
probably wouldn't need that much time to, to move it. Um, yeah. Uh, a week to two weeks would be great. <laughs> So could you tell me a little bit about this? It's not showing me online like square footage, beds or baths. What's uh? It is 6,400 square feet finished. Okay, so it's a large home. Um, yes, it, it, there are two separate listing areas. Um, the finished walk-up basement has uh, separate living, so it got its own kitchen, it's all in utility room, living room, bathroom, uh -huh. and, and also in the lockup is a hot room. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, it's pretty big. We've done some updates. Um, like I have a, a friend of mine was going to be like updating their master bathroom and Finishing kitchen and stuff that he packed. Away. Yeah. Um, I still have a bunch of everything still in boxes um, in our garage. So we go to eight thousand dollars worth of porn out here. So Marilyn, um, I'll, I'll shoot straight with you. If you have a recent appraisal for four hundred, but you're looking for three twenty. For an investor like me, that probably wouldn't be enough of a discount to make sense. Because what I would do is I would buy it, I would come in and, and put the money into it and then flip it. That's what we do typically. And plus we'd come in with cash. So I'd solve your problem because I could close quickly with cash and that would allow you to kind of move on to your next deal. It would solve the problem of agents and showings and appraisals and all those things. But I mean, it would. I would need to have a, a a pretty good discount for that to make sense to to bring the cash into the deal, especially yeah, being that it's out there, Lloyd. No we can do that. Okay. We have we still owe two hundred and approximately between the mortgage. Between the mortgage and what? A COVID grant that has okay. paid back. Yeah. Um. So it's about two hundred and. Seventy four Okay. So let me ask you a question. What if I took over your loans and then gave you some cash at closing? Then I don't have to come up with all the cash to get into the deal. It's I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's the cash are you talking about? So basically it's the same to you because if I if I pay cash, you're just gonna pay off your loan that you have, right? The two seventy five number. Yeah. And then you walk with the difference. Well, for me, that would mean I have to come up with new money to pay off your existing loans. And one thing that we do quite a bit is I can just take over those payments, take full responsibility for the property, maintenance, taxes, all of it. You get to leave and move on in life. And then the difference in price that we agree on, I would bring to you at closing in cash. I would have to talk to my husband about that. Yeah. I mean, it's, I know it's a new idea. I'm just saying conceptually, does that make sense how that would work? Mm -hmm. um, I, can I, can I walk you through it again? Can you hear me? No, I understand. What oh, okay. Saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So by me bringing you some cash, that's, that's like my skin in the game, right? So now I've got, a vested interest in the property. So I bring some money to the closing. You get to take that cash mm -hmm. and walk from the property. But rather than paying off those loans, I just take over those loans. And again, I can pay a lot more if I can take over your existing loans rather than bring in cash to pay them off. That's that's where it's advantageous because I can pay more by doing it that way. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think it will work because the mortgage is it's actually past due. That's okay. I can catch up whatever the past due payments are. So tell me, how how far past due are you? Uh, how much? Like uh, 51,000. 51,000. Okay. How far away is... How, yeah, like you, Marilyn, you need to be talking to somebody like me or you're going to lose this property. You know, like you really need... You really need an investor like me to come in there. 
because otherwise you're you, you might lose any equity you have in this property if you don't do something. I, I imagine you're you're probably racing the clock on a foreclosure, right? We were trying to do a loan modification. Right. The whole mess started when I got COVID. I was the primary breadwinner. Mm -hmm. And I had to resign from my job. And it took me a good eight months to to recover. And I have not been able to find another job. Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that. That's tough. Oh, well, yeah. I was a chief administrator at a juvenile facility. Mm-hmm. So I, I was the one that made the money, not my husband. So what needs to happen right now, Marilyn? Just I just want to make sure you understand the process. The every every month you go delinquent, you're getting closer to a foreclosure date. Once I know. okay, once it once it forecloses, then you lose the property and you have a foreclosure on your record now for a long time, right? So mm -hmm. in order to get out of this mess you're in right now, you need someone that could come in and pay the bank back current. So we call that the arrears, right? Bring it back current. And if, and if you're behind around 51,000, then, you know, you come in, you pay 51,000, the bank would then be made current on the loan. Well, but then now you have a loan again, right back in the same situation. So this is where like, if let's say I took over your loan at, at 275, I brought in 50,000 to make the loan current. Now the bank's in good standing. You're, you don't have a foreclosure on your record. Um, I would I would be able to get into the property with just the cash to bring it current, and you're able to move on in life and, and avoid a foreclosure, which is I think right now your biggest priority, being that you have fifty one thousand in arrears, your biggest priority should be to prevent that foreclosure from happening. But what do we walk away with? Well, you're yeah. I mean, you're out. Of, you're you're sort of out of options. I mean, your back's up against the wall right now because you owe fifty one thousand to the bank. So, I mean, maybe I could maybe I could get a few dollars in your pocket, like five thousand dollars or something like that. But it, you know, yeah, it's it won't get another property. No, no, but it maybe could get you uh, your a deposit in first month's rent somewhere to start over. We can't do that. We're not in a position to do that. We have. Yeah, I just, I just, Mar Mar but Marilyn, here's your, here's your dilemma. If you go to foreclosure, you get zero and a foreclosure on your record. So right now you're, you're, I, can also file bankruptcy to prevent that foreclosure. I, I guess you could do bankruptcy. Yeah. I mean, that, that's kind of worse than a foreclosure on your record, but you could do that. All that's going to do is buy you time and then you'll be leaving the property anyway and not having any equity mm -hmm. that way. So I don't, I don't know if that's a, yeah. I mean, you'll need to talk to your lawyer. I don't know that that's a good move necessarily. I'm just trying to help you have options so you know what you're up against. That's all. We do this all, we do this all the time. We buy a lot of properties that are in this situation. And yeah. what I can do is I could solve the foreclosure problem that you're having and prevent that from happening, mm -hmm. which whether you do bankruptcy or you do nothing, that will eventually come knocking at your doorstep, right? Yeah, and that's what I told my husband. Yeah. The house is in his name. It was in my name, and when I lost my job, uh, my father-in-law purchased it from me. Yeah. And um, then he passed away. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, so that's tough. It's now, thank you, it's now um, in my husband's name. Do you have a foreclosure date? Have they told you yet? The bank? No. no. Okay. Okay. You you're gonna want to you're gonna want to find that out and and pay attention to that so you know what's when that's coming, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm I'm really sorry you're in this situation. That's really tough. I just it, it's horrible, and it all started because of an illness. Yeah, I it just was disabling for me. My my job as a as a as an investor, I feel an obligation to be really, really upfront and real with you. You know, like, let's have a really hard conversation about the reality of what's going on. And if you're willing to have that conversation, then you can you can start to address these issues. What most people do, in my experience, is they just put it off and keep thinking that somehow it's going to solve itself. And it never does. <laughs> no, that's not me to put it off. 
because every month that goes by, that balance owed to the bank keeps growing, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, and then that's what I'm panicking over. Yeah, it was at forty some thousand. Yeah, and next month it's going to be at fifty-five. You know what I mean? So it's it's not like it's the problem just compounds. It doesn't get better if you don't do something. Right now, I think you've got a little room to protect some equity where an investor can come in and, and solve the problem, but you keep going and pretty soon there's there won't be enough equity to even solve the problem. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yep. Because right now, if I, if I pay 50 in cash to pay the bank current, and then I take over your loan at 275, that puts me at 325, and now we're pushing up against the value of the home. So there's not a lot of equity left for an investor to want to come in and do that. So my, my advice would be don't don't keep waiting to do something. You know, I can help you, but if if you just address this, you know, step up to it and address it right now is the best thing you can do. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm, we're not going to keep waiting, but I, I will talk to my husband about it. He's, he's more of the waiter person. I am not. <laughs> get get him on the phone with me if you're willing, and he's willing, and and we'll have a heart to heart. Well, he and to yeah, but I mean on another call. But like if he's because I'll just shoot straight with you. I'll lay it out there for you, like what your options are and what happens if you don't do something. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think bankruptcy is going to solve things. That's that's not really going to solve things. It'll it'll buy you a little time, maybe, but that's about it. Yeah. And you're going to be right back to this same situation in a few months or however long. Okay. Well, I'd, I'd love to be able to help you. You talk to your husband. Do you do you have my number here on the on the on your caller ID? Yeah, save it. Save my number. Call me back when when your husband and oh, Jerry. Yeah. But don't don't lose your property. Don't don't lose your property and don't get a foreclosure or a bankruptcy. You can prevent that still. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Best of luck to you. And I'm really sorry about all, all that happened. That's really tough. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Take care. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Bro, those, those phone conversations are so hard. Freaking hate that. Like and you you want to like reach through the phone and be like, you need to listen to me. I, I, I call I it the... I, I call it the ostrich effect. This is pre foreclosure. This is, guy, by the way, guys, if you're listening, that's pre foreclosure classic right there. Yeah. And you know what she'll do? She'll call me back when the foreclosure is next Friday, is what she'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, can you deal with this now? Jeez. Yeah. Hey, my foreclosure is next Friday. I'm finally ready to deal with this. All when right. They could, when they could have prevented it. So I've got to get one call and then we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, the lead I bought, uh, it, it's funny. I bought it because it said it was um, land in New Hampshire. And I was like, dude, I'm going to go get this seller finance so I can keep it. It's not land. It's just on acreage. So now I get to have the fun call of calling uh, on seven acres, like a, a house in New Hampshire. Um, not what I was looking for, but let's do it. And then, uh, Gene, you need to, we need to figure out how we're giving away these prizes. Yeah. So I went to the fee. Is he frozen or is it me? He's frozen. And RG, I got to run in like maybe, I don't know, five, five, 10 minutes. Okay. Jerry, you want to just wrap up for you so you can get out of here? You don't need to watch me call this last one. I'm just going to okay. get one more call in since that's okay. not where we had the same amount. But dude, you crushed it. That was fun. Yeah. All right, so I asked you on a date and you ignored me. Who? You. What date? You want to you want to do this next week? Oh, next week. Just give me. I gotta just make sure I clear a calendar. Um, 
I, I think we just go all when, day. Like uh, Wednesday? Well, I'll, I'll let's uh let's figure it out. Let's I will. It. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do a whole day. Yeah, I think we just figure it out. We we get creative with it. Like okay, Eastern time. We start as early as we possibly can, and then we go as late as we can on the Pacific Coast, and we just we can alternate back and forth. I can have Cassie step in for a little bit to give us some breaks, and we just we bang it out, dude. Just see see how much we can get done in a whole day. I think it'll be crazy. That'd be super fun. I'm up. Let's do it. All right. Uh, let's see. Gene. Jerry, it was great meeting you, man. Thank yeah, you I'm going to bail, guys. Brother. I'm going to bail, guys. Appreciate you. See you, Jerry. Okay, bye-bye. All right, Gene. Who who do we got? Who won? This, this, was, this was, just by the way, this was like some historic event, man. If you <laughs> haven't realized it yet, this was something else. All right, so. I picked uh I picked like a few people, okay? And I didn't pick them. I just randomly scrolled through different parts of the comments section, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Um, so let's go. Now the person has to be here to receive it. We ain't gonna chase after him, okay? Plenty of we're not giving the big there. one away. Don't give the big one away until I'm done with my calls. Yeah, yeah. So you wanna pick one for now? Yeah, give give a couple of the the little ones. Yeah, let's away. do a couple. Yeah, let's do a couple. So we, we do it. Yeah, and that's and that's what we did. So, all right. So five hundred dollars on your ISP to lead account balance. Now you have to be signed up on ISP to lead using the code Titanium. If you're new, you enter it into the referral code for you to be eligible to actually receive it. Okay. So, Mr. Phil Banks, are you here? You get in the five hundred bucks on your ISP to lead balance, Mr. Phil Banks. Phil Banks. Let's go. And Phil Banks had a comment. The comment said six other investors already. So, Bro, Phil Banks, Phil if Banks, you're here. Yeah. He, he's Uncle Phil from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, wow, man. I That's, I was not Phil in a – I was not – I didn't, I didn't live in the States back then. There he there is, he Phil is. Banks. All right. Phil Banks, you're getting 500 bucks, man. Uh, Phil Banks – I need your uh, account email, whatever you, if you register on the Phil Banks, great. If not, text, uh, text the sales number on ispeedtolead.com. Like when you're logged in, there's a sales number up top. Text that with your email uh, address that you register on ispeedtolead and you're going to get it. Let's go again. Let's go to another one. Another one, Lynn Brown. Okay, Lynn Brown. And her comment was, what site are they looking at? Lynn Brown. Okay. Lynn Brown is the other winner of 500 bucks. Lynn, if you're here, pick a comment. All right. I've got it. I just bought a lead. This is this is right. It just came in. So we're going to see if we can get this on. I'm OCD, man. It's got to be even on the calls, you know? Hi, is this the owner of 1422 Ridge Avenue? Oh, uh, hold on a second. Okay. Hello, this is Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina, this is RJ Bates. Just saw you filled out a form about your property there on Ridge Avenue. Yeah, just kind of giving it a shot in the dark there. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, how much are you looking to get for it? There's a problem with my house, so I'm not able to sell it until I pay the mortgage, and so I'm only really wanting about 40 to 45 out of it. It's a very large house, but it's got three apartments in it, and I can't seem to sell it until I pay off that mortgage, but I don't want to pay it off. I just want to be out from under it. Does that make sense? Okay. So how much do you owe on the mortgage? 37. Okay. So, realistically, you just want someone to come in and just pay off the mortgage, and you're good. But pretty much, and I, you know, I kind of want to get maybe ten grand out of the deal myself. 
you know, I think that's what we agreed on. But that that would be only like forty seven grand. So I'm making a little like thirteen thousand to pay off bills and stuff myself. All right. Um what it what's the occupancy of this? It's unoccupied at this moment. I've moved away. Okay. Um what is the condition like? Okay, so the condition has it's got three apartments in it, like I said. Um, two of them I would consider unfinished. Um it's very livable. Very I mean I was living in the upstairs apartment when I, me, my husband and my son and my daughter and it was completely livable. Downstairs my other daughter was living in that apartment. Again, it's livable. Um it it's very livable, but when I say it needs repairs and, and fixing up, I mean like the third apartment need to finish the kitchen, need to finish off the bedroom, need to uh, finish the walls, and the roof does need repaired on that side. But um, other than that, the roof is really good. Okay. And what else? Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's about it. It's on two lots. Used to be an old uh, mason lodge at one time, so it's a very large house. Um, they turned it into uh, years ago, I guess. They turned it into three apartments, and we did some fixing up. Um, I put in some pipes in. Um, I had the power inspected. I had that turned on. I put in a few thousand dollars as well, you know. Um, but then something happened where I could not be there anymore with my mom, so I had to move. You know, unfortunately, so I need to be completely out from under that. I'm pretty much giving it away is what I'm doing with that mortgage. So now the mortgage, um, if you want to talk about that for a minute, I'm not sure what you want to talk about. Yeah. So walk me through on the mortgage. Um, are you behind on the mortgage or is it up to date? Okay. So the mortgage. Okay. So when I bought the house, it's not, the mortgage is not in my name. It would be, I guess, considered a third party. So when she signed over the house to me, she quit claimed it to me. And I understood that there was a $37,000 mortgage on it, which I was in more agreement to pay on that. However, the mortgage has not been paid on for nine years. I don't know how. I don't know why it wasn't foreclosed on eight years ago or not. You know, I have no idea. But. It had not been paid on. And so when I called the bank, I actually had to have her call the bank and to, to verify that, um, yes, $37,000 was owed, but they could not find the mortgage. The bank could not find the mortgage. And so it sounds kind of complicated, but I'm, I'm sure it's not if somebody really knows what they're doing. I can't do any more digging on this right now because I just have so much going on. So I... Again, I just need to be done with it. Did you buy this from <clears throat> from Kelly? Yeah. Gotcha. How do you know Kelly? I looked up who owns the property, and it said Kelly Roberts owns it. Okay, okay. Yes, that's right, Kelly Roberts. Okay. So she quit claim deed, but did you file the quit claim deed? Yes, in my name. So weird. Why is it still showing up as Kelly here? Maybe it's just because no, it's. I don't know actually because I, I hold the deed. If, it's in my name, Sabrina Snook. Okay. And so that's the thing too is it is transferable, and so that's what kind of it's really kind of weird. But if somebody really knows what they're doing, um, they they can undig this and find out what the problem is. Well, this is unique. Um, all right, let's uh, before we go down that rabbit hole, let's see if this is something I want to do. Um, all right, how big is the property? It's because uh, you said it's big. It's how many square feet is it? Okay, so hold on. It's on a half acre. Um, it's got a run to ask my other half here <laughs> hold on just a second because online nothing pops up square foot you know and that's strange because when i yeah i could not find hardly anything on this place as far as information 
information regarding this house. Um, it's um, kind of thing. He, he is asking me real quick. I have forgotten. While he's doing that, do you have anything else? I'm sure you have other questions. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess my question is, this is kind of, it's in a pretty rural location, right? I mean, there, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, there's really not. It's the closest city would be, I guess, Houghton, Michigan, which is only 45-minute drive. Uh, which people do um, all their shopping and stuff. There's, you know, it's a little town. You know, so um, how big was it? it was it's around seven thousand square feet. That's got to be the lot, right? Not the not the house. That's the house itself. It's it's, it's, it's like like I say, it's from thirty two. Thirty two. Here, listen to him. Thirty two. Thirty two by seventy five, and there's four levels. Okay. Four levels. Wow. Four levels. Yeah, and so I'm not much <laughs> at all. Um, I can give you the name of the bank as well, and I can actually talk with Kelly if you want to talk with her, and I can let her know. I'm not really sure if you want to what you want to do here. Well, here's my question: You want your money in, to to pay some bills, and then you want the mortgage taken care of. I think that there's a way that we can make that work, but. I, I just kind of want you to be creative with me because I want to do all of that over the course of time. Um, right. So, for example, there's a couple of different things that I could do here. Uh, long term, I don't necessarily think that I want to own this because of the location and the lack of like management and stuff like that. Um, but what I could do is become the bank myself. Um, so what I would do is, is I could find a way to either start making payments on that mortgage or get the mortgage paid off or find a way to make that mortgage just go away altogether. Because if it hasn't been paid on in nine years and it hasn't been foreclosed on, there could be a way to just make that go away. Um, okay. And then as far as your money goes, um, that could be from a down payment of a of an investor that I bring to the table or it, maybe even an owner occupant that wants it. Maybe they want to just live on one one floor, kind of like what you were doing, right? They could live on one floor, rent out the others. A lot of people call that like house hacking, right? And so I come I could have them come along and they give the 13 grand and I give that to you. You're done, you go away. And then I finance the rest of them. There's a lot of different creative ways that we could we could skin this. Um, I just I'm kind of curious. It sounds like you're motivated. It sounds like you want the money, uh, but it doesn't necessarily sound like you need the money today. You would be okay if it came in like 30 or 45, 60 days from now. Is that right? That would be fine. Yeah. Things like this just don't happen overnight. So right. Right. <laughs> So, I mean, the, when I look at this, it's like, yeah, I mean, you're, you're the person I want to talk to. This is a situation that we are very capable of handling. Uh, but you're also in a very rural location. This is a very unique property. I mean, it's four levels, 7,000 square feet. I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah, this, yeah, this is a, this is a, a weird one, right? So. I'm not going to lie. It is very weird. I'm going to tell you everything on the up and up here. So I, I, I'm an open book here. Yeah. So my thoughts are, uh, let's first things first, I want to get title open on this. So the what we do with there is, is we sign a contract, we send it to the title company, the title company is going to get a title commitment. When that comes back, it's going to tell us everything that's owed on the property, right? So it's going to say, hey, there's this lien, there's this mortgage that exists on this. And then from there, we can go uh, see like, okay, how much needs to be paid on this and maybe even negotiate with them. Um, so that would be like the first step that I would want to take. Um, and then the next step would obviously be to like get pictures of the property and, and do an inspection and stuff like that, just so I can get an idea of what needs to be done. 
Um, okay. we, we could do all of that probably in the next week or so. So where in order say that again. Where are you located? I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. So when you say inspected and all of that, do you like know somebody in Michigan? Or yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send somebody there to go do that. It's not gonna be me. See, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just yeah. Curious. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I get to sit uh, pretty here at my desk all day long. I, I never leave. So we, now we've I got. Him to stay. So does that matter? Will I need to show up? No, I mean, is there a way for us to enter the property? Like, is there a door unlocked or? It's all open. Yeah. Um, I, I, I get. I've not been there for two months. So um, there have been walkthroughs. I'm not sure exactly to what extent or anything. Um, there is a lady, in fact, Kelly. Kelly is the one there to kind of see that. Um, I don't know where she is at the moment. <laughs> but, yeah, no, the doors are open. So yeah. I mean, yeah. So we would just have someone go out there, do what we need to do. So here's what I want to do. You said you owe 37 that's what you said, and you want to you want to walk away with thirteen, so you want fifty. Okay, so what I want to do is is a very open agreement with you. Okay, this is like uh, we we have to be very understanding of what we're getting into. I'm going to send you a contract for fifty thousand, and it's just going to be a purely cash fifty thousand dollar agreement. All right. Okay. We're going to open title. We're going to figure out if there's a mortgage. We're going to figure out the condition of the property and what, what we could do with it during our inspection. And then I'm going to come back to you and say, all right, either we need to convert this to a sub two seller finance hybrid. I know I'm using terms you don't understand, but if we get there, then I'll explain them to you. Um, okay. Or... We're going to give you that $13,000 cash and, and you just got to walk away from the property or we're going to figure out what we need to do to make this work. Uh, and it's probably going to take us somewhere in the range of two weeks to give you that answer. And then that's when we're going to say, okay, let's finalize this. Let's tighten it up. And then we can get it done in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. But I just need to, I, the first thing I need to know is, is the title commitment because I'm seeing stuff that still has Kelly's name on it. So I need that to, if it may be there's something issue with the quick claim deed and that could be easily resolved if you have that. And then I need to know about this mortgage. And once we do that, then we can really start tightening up the numbers. But I understand what you need. You need that cash so you can take care of what you need and you need the mortgage to go away. So, Absolutely. so if you're open to that, I'm open to it. Let's get it going. And, uh, it's not just going to be me. I've got an entire team. So my team would uh, be in communication with you um, and kind of walking you through like what's happening with the walkthroughs, what we're seeing and what we're leaning towards. Okay. All right. And what was your name again? My name is RJ Bates. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Sabrina. So I've got your, I've got your email as um All right, I'm gonna get this written up for you, sent over to you. It'll come over to your email. It'll be from uh, Dropbox Sign. Um, it'll be a simple two-page agreement. Like you say, it'll have my company name, your name, and then it'll just say that we're buying the property for the 50,000. Um, and then we'll get title open. And then once we get that re report back, we do our walkthrough, we'll, we'll be in communication with you. We'll figure out what we gotta do to get this done, okay? Thank you so much for calling. Thank you, Sabrina. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There you go. So that deal right there, uh, I am I am pretty positive that there is a way for us to get that mortgage to go away and we just give her $13,000 cash. 
dude. Nice. Well, I mean, and that's a that's a massive quadplex. I mean, it's it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but we've got properties uh, of similar size that well, actually not near the size, but it's as big as you could get uh, for one thirty. We got one that's one fourth of the size that sold for one twenty. Uh, there's not really a lot of multifamily out there where this is, so yeah, I think I think that one we we can figure something out, especially if we get it on creative terms. There'll be someone that'll be willing to to come along and, and do that. So, all right, how many did we give away? You didn't break the streak, man. That's the more. That's that's all I care about. We didn't break the streak. Nah, bro. Streak. That's what. Well, that's three. That's three and two and a half hours, bro. And, and honestly, and <laughs> we we didn't have that many conversations because when Jerry and I were on the phone, they were good conversations. I mean, yeah. I closed two and told two no. Jerry closed one and told – and another one is a, a really good deal. It's just she's got the pre-foreclosure fear, right? Mm -hmm. That's going to be a follow-up call. And then he told someone else no. I mean, bro, great results. Yeah, man. And, and you know what? We, we've done something very uh, – we've been thinking about doing it for a long time. It's been it's been kind of a big decision. But so what we've done is we, we started asking the question in every one of our forums – are you actually trying to sell and ready to sell or do you just want your own value and you're not right. selling big it, it it was painful and i think people will catch on at some point like we, we haven't really i mean how do you advertise that right. but people like people will start noticing that a lot more because man it was like i think it was like 16 or 17 percent of people pick the fucking pick the pick, pick the damn thing that's that's like, no, I just want the home value. And so we just stopped publishing those. We don't even yeah. publish those now. It's seven, it's a 17% cut of all the lead volume, but I think it will come back in the in the in just like the the customer success and like the 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 the, 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 the how many deals people actually close. I mean, so, and, and on top of that, I mean, we we come out, you give this discount today, the cage match.icevelead.com. Um uh, the leads were fire. Uh, gave you, you gave me and Jerry great opportunities today. Uh, and, and what's funny is, is you saw uh, that our ability to also, also offer creative finance solutions here. Uh, but both me and Jerry, what you saw is, is exit strategy first, right? The exit strategy determines our acquisition strategy. And because of that, we were able to put together deals um, that otherwise, if you don't know how to do those creative finance, um, you're, you're not going to get two of those deals. Two of the three were a creative finance day. Um, and, I, and I will say that's not normal. Uh, that was a little bit <laughs> higher than normal, but uh, awesome stuff. Guys, check out cagematch.icebeedelead.com today. Um, all right. Let's keep Who, rolling. Who's won so far? All right. So we had uh already mentioned that was phil banks so he already he was on the stream we had we had lynn brown but she's not on the stream next one i've got danielle ellsworth with a comment yeah. of a with a comment of a laughing ass emoji face dude danielle, danielle so danielle finished in second place in the first ever titanium hard challenge inside of titanium university Nice. And I'm going to tell you, bro, she gave JW the, a run for her money. JW won. Uh, but Danielle finished in second, and it was all through speed to lead leads, man. Um, you guys were her her lead generation force. Uh, man, it was, it was crazy. So, uh, Danielle, congratulations. Congratulations, Danielle. That's two. Who's the third? All right, that's two. Next one, Patrick, Patrick Provence, 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 yeah. Provence. Patrick Pro Provence with a comment: "I'm a tree." <laughs> Whatever the frick that meant, dude. Uh, that's 
That's a saying in Titanium University. I always talk about be consistent oh. as a tree. There's nothing <laughs> there more go. consistent than a tree, bro. It just grows and grows and grows. There's a lot of titanium people in here, man. That's crazy. Yeah, if you look at the live counts, titanium like got everybody beat in the live. Yeah. Pa so Patrick's here. Uh, is Daniel here? Yeah, yep. he's Daniel's here. Both there. Of them here. here. Perfect. You guys all get a $500 bounce on ice speed. Let's go. All right. So next after Patrick, this is what number four? Yeah. 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 So this, this is the fourth prize of 500 bucks. And the next one's going to be a 1K. David Montoya. All right. With a, comment, with a comment. Let's see a California lead. David Montoya. Kind of like the Formula One driver, David Montoya. Let's yeah. see. Are you are you yeah. here? In David Montoya, you got five seconds to comment something. There he is. Ru He's here. There it is. Nice. Nice. That's either oh. David or somebody that was really fast at changing their channel name on YouTube. But right. he will drop <laughs> to you. <laughs> I love it. All right, all right. So I'm I'm doing another freaking blind ass scroll of the comment feed. Good luck, guys. All right, let me just make sure it's scrolling. Yep. So I'm scrolling just back and forth. I've got two bat two percent battery on my laptop. I hope it dies so I don't have to give you all no, one day. All right, Max Star. Jesus, it's Ice Speed to Lee. That's the comment. Max Star. You in here, Max? Max Star? Max, where are you? Oh, my goodness. Max, you better be here. Come on. Max. Ten, nine. He's here. There you go, oh, dude. There hey. you go. Nice work. Okay. That stuff never works out like that. Every time we do something like that, it's like they're, they're never here. I know. This is this is actually like, yeah, but this, dude, almost 500 people live. I don't. I've never seen that even on Olympics or nothing. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is that was crazy. Incredible. Good stuff. So uh, a couple of uh, just housekeeping notes. Uh, this is the third day of uh, the acquisitions week that we're doing here. Our our take on Shark Week uh, acquisitions week. So uh, man, it's been crazy so far. So much support. Um, and all these lives, uh, it's been awesome. Uh, Gene, man, thank you guys so much for what you, you do for yeah, our community. For and, and dude, what, how cool is it that we got Jerry freaking Norton today? Dude, I, I've left that guy like 20 voicemails, probably 20 voicemails. I've left that guy. I you know never, what's awesome? never talked to him. <laughs> Jerry, every time I call Jerry with an idea, he's willing to do it. He's, he, you know, when I called him and I said, hey, let's do the uh, direct to agent versus direct to seller. He is like, yeah, let's do it, which he knows he's at an extreme disadvantage during that life. Uh, but he but he just came in and brought value today. Uh, hey, you want to come do this? He had never even used the speed to lead platform before. Yep. Uh, and, he, and he's just like, yeah, let's do this. Uh, I think you got I think you got a client. I mean, he, he felt it. So I, I love it, man. Um, the, the the Guys, come on. We didn't purposely only pick men. We scrolled up and down and just Wait, landed. What about Danielle? Danielle won. Oh, yeah, Danielle. That's, that's and we had Lynn, Lynn, Lynn that won as well, but she wasn't here for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, we appreciate all the love and support. Uh, whatever platform you're watching this on, uh, make sure you like the the videos because uh, it, it helps the algorithm. Um, and then the the other thing is is uh, man, just shout out again to Jerry Norton for uh, coming on and and doing this. Uh, not many people are willing to come on and do live seller calls like this. Uh, in fact, I don't know many people that do more than me and Jerry. Uh, I think Kong is up there. Zach Ginn's up there. That's that's really it. There's not many people that are willing to do this. Um, and, and we see and we hear you guys about the fact that you you want this and you need this and it helps you in your business. Uh, so, man, just really appreciate all the love and support. Tomorrow, I'll be going live again at 6.30 p.m. with Aaron Bevins. 
He says he's got something that he wants to show me. I don't know what it is, but we're going to do the same thing we did today. So instead of seeing Jerry, you get to see Aaron Bevin's pretty face and me go dial for dial. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what the leads are, Gene. Less, less. I just he said that he said they're leads and they're good. I said that okay. Was another, that was another record live that we had. Oh yeah, with, with I told, I told my team today. I said this will probably break the record for for most people, but Aaron was the first one that really got everybody going, and then Munif. Munif was a big one as well. Yeah, and then uh, it, but this one, bro. I mean, adding Jerry's in there as well. I mean, dude, we still got close to three hundred people watching right now. I mean, we we almost got the five hundred at one point in time. I thought we were gonna get there. I I think you were probably emailing and texting everybody in the world. I was, yeah. I was, uh, I was trying to get it to five hundred, but hey, we, I'm sure I'm sure it'll happen. It'll happen soon enough. RJ, I appreciate you so much, man. For what you've done, what you've done with this thing has not been done in this. In this industry, or probably any other sales type of industry, man, this is this is incredible. Keep keep going, man. This is this is nuts. I love it, nuts. man. We're gonna keep doing it. Um, hey, it's every single day this year in 2024. I will release a long form video. Um, so, man, I got. I told my team most people would look at doing every single day live as like a burden. I looked at it as like it was relief. All I got to do is just go live and do what I do, call sellers. I don't have to plan anything out, no scripts, no anything. I'm ready to do it, baby. I loved it. Gene, I appreciate you. Guys, tomorrow we'll see you 6.30 p.m. Let's go.